everybody, Gina DeLuca here. All right, today I'm gonna to do another straight pour, testing out all these new colors that I got. Uh, today's new color is the Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in emerald green. I will also be using the uh, 24 karat gold. My background color, what you can see is this lovely yellow. It's kind of a deep, like kind of a buttery color. Is a mixture of cadmium yellow, medium hue, and titanium white and basics. Uh, the cadmium yellow light hue is a uh, very good cell maker. The medium hue is not quite as good of a cell maker when I mix it with the um, titanium white, it should not be creating cells. These paints are mixed one part paint to two parts Floetrol and then thinned with my concoction of 90% water and 10% Floetrol until I get the consistency. This would be a one on my scale, maybe a one and a half. Slightly thicker um, because I'm using the metallics. The metallics are always a bit thicker because of the mica. So you wanna keep those consistencies as close as possible. Before we get started, have you seen the Fluid Art Inspiration Cards? If you have, just fast forward about a minute and 15 seconds and we'll be to the painting. If you have not, what we have are 52 cards. There are 48, I'm sorry, 42 technique cards. Each one having an associated video where you can have the full how-to, all of the paints consistency and such. A little box that contains a tip for that style of painting and a color palette. And then these two boxes can be used together as a two color pour or as the basis of another pour. And also there are eight bonus color palette cards, each one having five color palettes, use all of the colors, use some of the colors, mix and match, pick a technique, pick a new uh, color palette. If you've already done that, this is available at my website, ginadeluca.net. First thing I'm gonna do is put some paint in my cup my base color. I'm going to do about two ounces, just short of two ounces. I did not cover my edges today, usually I do. A bit distracted today. It's one of those days. I've been having a string of those days. This too shall pass. Okay, my base coat is down and now I will add colors to the cup. I will start with green and then add gold. I do love when these metallics blend and create those bubbly 3D cells. So I'm going to pour this from up high. I want it to sink into that base color. And again, from up high, trying to get that to mix, blend. Let's make a mess.
Okay, good Fibonacci on that one. Give myself a 10 for dismount. Let's pop these bubbles. Well, I'm loving how this center looks. We'll see how it goes. I will come to this corner first. And I'm gonna use my corner catcher. Just to keep from dumping off more than necessary. You want to bring the weight of your paint back to center. The weight is going to be wherever it's moving fastest. I see schmutz. Gotta get the schmutz. Okay, so this sec section right here, if I stretch this, I should get those cells popping up. I need to stretch this a bit more. So I'm going to push off some of that. Stretch it, stretch it, stretch it. With this particular technique, as you move the paints around, that top layer of paint gets stretched 
and it gives the paints underneath a chance to pop up. I'm still feeling like I have a bit too much paint on here. So I need to tilt some more off. I think my mix might have been a hair too thick. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit and see what pops up. I don't think I'm gonna get as many cells as I usually do. I think my paint mix was a hair thick. As I said, I was at like a 1.5. Probably should have just been at a one. But uh, I'm gonna let this sit and I will bring you in for a close up. Back in a few. Okay, here it is. I did have some more cells pop up. Not as many as I was expecting. Uh, I may have used too much paint and not gotten enough stretch in there. That could be an issue, or it could have just been a hair too thick. But those are cool looking cells. I was really hoping to get more gold cell action but I really only got them on the very, very edges over here. But it's like a cell within a cell. Funky little things. These were my high school, uh, school colors. This is like the green from high school. 
but uh, this area is very pretty. Using the metallics together just gives such a cool 3D effect. So even though I didn't get my bubble cells, it still has a pretty nifty 3D thing going on. And these little funky sparklers. Definitely going to be playing around with these paints. I have lots of ideas, so I have plenty of material for content in my brain. But uh, that, that's kind of it. That looks like a um, tomato horn worm. <laughs> I'm in garden mode. Battling all kinds of critters and fungus and whatnot. But uh, if you enjoyed, if you learned something, please do like and share and subscribe. Sharing is caring. And do check out the description box below for links to my PayPal tip jar or Venmo tip jar if you feel so inclined. My Amazon store, where most of what I use is can be found in that Amazon store. If it's not in there, as long as you enter through that link, I will receive a small commission at no additional cost to you. My website, GinaDeLuca.net, is also in there where you can find my art and music and fluid art inspiration cards for purchase. And last but not least, join our Facebook group, Go Make Some Art, post your masterpieces, ask your questions, get some inspiration. You can see it's starting to dry on the edge there. It dries kind of matte, but once you put the varnish on it, it just pops right off the canvas again. All right, I think that's it. Y'all, I hope you have a beautiful day. Now, go make some art.